All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Justin here and Ty. What's up? Uh, we're going to be working on the trailer again today. We've been working a lot behind the scenes. I haven't really videoed some of it. Uh, I've been doing a poor job. We just pop in here after work because, you know, we both work a lot. And uh, we work on it for a few hours. And just, I'm about to give you an update on it. So this is part three of the trailer build. We've done a lot. So I'm going to show you the Let inside of it. <laughs> it's a big surprise a because I haven't, haven't really shown all of this and we've done a lot so we'll go over it here in a second let me get out of vlog mode and i'll show y'all better We have done quite a lot uh, that I really didn't video much of. All right, well, I'm gonna interject real quick and say I'm so sorry that I did not video a lot of this build. I thought, you know, in part two of this build that I had the walls put in at least, but I guess I didn't looking back at part two. So, man, I skipped a lot on this series and I've just been busy with work and I just wanted to say sorry that I didn't video a lot of this. So I wanna interject and kind of talk about it real quick. So we added the walls in and put some insulation behind the walls and the beds and painted it. That's pretty much it, I guess. We had the floor in in part two. If you haven't seen part two, go watch it. But uh, yeah, there's a big gap in the build and I'm sorry about that. But all I can do is just show you what we got now. So let's get back into it. A lot of late nights just here and there but got the dinette put together. I'll show you, I'll import a picture on the screen here of the 3D model we made to you know how we wanted to build it and then it turned out great. And uh, here are our two fold down beds. So Ty, show them, show them how those, those bad boys work. We got this little bar. Yeah, the bar, the bar's removable. It's a little collapsible bar, so it doesn't have to be there all the time. Yeah, like obviously when you're in here, day to you know day use you don't need the bar it comes out but yeah so you can put that in it's a necessity for the for the bed fold down fold down the other one and boom. nice solid bed yeah we haven't really figured out what material uh, if we're going to go with like some type of air mattress or foam or you know have a permanent foam mattresses that are like stapled to here but you know, let me know in the comments below you know what you would do this is a queen size bed pretty much uh, the exact dimensions on the floor you also can fit a queen size bed so you technically could sleep you know four comfortably and uh, if you really wanted to you could <laughs> sleep more but it's a small space to put more than Pack four people in, there. in. Sure. yeah but so pretty much what we've done off camera is a lot. We've painted the walls, added these in, nothing super complex. We're gonna get to the fun stuff today, which is doing the floor and kind of like a backsplash on that front wall. And we still have to do the ceiling, the lighting and all that stuff. So there's still a lot to do, but we did skip a good bit. But you're gonna see us today, get that floor and backsplash installed. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. Step one, underlayment. Step two, flooring. Yes, take the knife. I'm gonna take the towel. Here, I was gonna say, you probably should pull that. Okay, so the floor is in and it looks amazing. It's super easy to do. I've done flooring in uh, my whole house, so 
this was nothing. It's about the size of, you know, a closet. It went really quick. We did it in less than an hour. And uh, yeah, now we're about to put the backsplash on, which is something that's gonna look really good. It's gonna be the same concept. We're gonna stagger these boards that I'm about to show you. Okay, so here are the boards that we're gonna put on the backsplash. You can see that they have a, you know, a slight texture to it. It's kind of a rustic look. They come stained like this, and we're gonna herringbone it. If that's the right word. It is a herringbone pattern across the front of the backsplash. do is you stack multiple boards that have different textures and a little bit different of a finish and you cut them all at the same time and whereas this would be A and this is B. Well does that make sense? Is that my going the right way? You would basically use this board and this next board together to create that texture and then you can use that board and that board together if you, you know you cut right there. So we're gonna put our table back in, but since we put the floor, we gotta cut our pole a little bit shorter. But there is our final product. We used some of these leftover wall boards as trim pieces. I think it turned out nice. So we're putting the table in right now. We, um, we had to stain it kind of a black color to match the the chairs that we have in there and um, this is kind of a natural red color so we put that black on it and makes it look a little bit better with those tables. Here I'll show them what it looks like naturally. Naturally, the chairs. naturally it was really light and uh, we this was a sample piece we put really dark and that was our final product and uh, this is what it looks like in here. It looks pretty nice. I like the live edge on it too. Looks real good. Guys, thank you so much for watching this part of the series. I uh, appreciate your view a lot. I hope you, you know comment below what you want to see. Uh, we're going to add the final touches in. We need to you know spice up those outer walls a little bit. We need to figure out the bedding. And we're going to get this thing out on the road and take some trips with it and really put it to the test. And just from there, see what all we want to add. We still got to get the roof in. We still got to put some lights in there. Uh, but it's been an awesome build so far. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next build.